Hi there, this is... Uh, sorry, first time doing this. Oh yes. This is, welcome to the Gaming Tool Shop with your host, Fixit Frank. That's me. And for my first episode, I'm going to show you how you can store loose cartridges such as Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, SNES, and Mega Drive Genesis games on a tight budget. Now we all know how difficult it is to store your cartridges, loose cartridges. Get in there. Get in. Get in. But with the solution which I have created, which I'm about to show you, it should solve your problems and also store your games quite nicely. Let me introduce the game tray. Yes, the game tray. Yeah, that's what the catcher's name I know, but... And yes, I made this myself, actually. It may not look too neat or anything, or anything flashy. I mean, you could probably find something flashy in the shop or something. But it fits the Nintendo 64 games perfectly in. Also, Super Nintendo goes in just about there. And also, the Sega Mega Drives go in. So, yep, yeah, you've got room and storage to put your games. Oh. So it is all with a game tray after filling up with all games and look, it fits them all nicely in. In order for you to make the game tray, first you need the correct tools and equipment and materials. First off you need two pieces of card. Make sure it's a reasonably strong card, this one's reasonably thick so that'll be strong enough to hold your cartridges in. You will also need basic ruler and pencil to mark out all the measurements and everything to make it all accurate. Also I'd recommend either scissors or a sharp knife if you use the sharp knife such as this then then you must take extra care and also do it on a proper cut, cutting surface which you can cut through the card. So, And if you use this please be careful, same with the scissors, although not as dangerous still can be safe, take care. And also you need the tape to stick everything together. Now get your first A4 piece of card and each corner on the shortest side you measure four centimeters and you make a marking like so. And you do it on all both sides. Sorry about this. And you do it there and you do it there. Make Make sure it's four, four centimetres, the more accurate you get it, the better the outcome of the tray will be. And then, linking the two lines on, on the right hand side, you draw down like so, so it touches each mark of the pencil. Make sure you still use a pencil, but you can use a pen, but in case you make a mistake, this is the best. And you do the same on this side. Now, once you've marked out the sides of the base of the tray, you just need to bend it up like so. If I cut the corner, just do it roughly. That's what I'm doing. You can do it more smoothly in another way. If you've got any tips on doing so, please comment or response to this video. But anyway, we do this. I did this roughly beforehand, so do excuse the quickness in which I'm doing this. So that's the side of the game tray ready. This is what it should look like once you've done both the sides. Okay, it's rough. A little tip, tip you might want to uh, press it down this way so you can get a more 90 degree angle, sort of. Okay, now we need to cut out the holes in which to fit the ends of the tray on. Now approximately one centimetre in, you could do a bit more or a bit less, it's up to you, but I'll do it this way for now. You make a little mark. Like so. Sorry, I can't get my camera in a better angle, but there you go. And then approximately two millimeters away from the first mark, you make another mark. Like so. And then you draw a straight line up two centimeters. Like so. And you do that on the, all the other side, which I've done beforehand, as you can see. Sorry, the quality of them isn't great, but there you go. 
No, have you cho choose to use it, cut it with the scissors or or the no or knife is up to you. But I'll show you what, how it's done with the scissors. Okay, just be careful with this. So just get in there and. There we go. Go and then you can just pretty much pull it out without cutting the last bit off. Um, you might want to put your scissors in there again to cut the rest of it off. So once you cut all the holes out which you need, it should look something like this. That's for the first side, and on the other side, it should look pretty much the same. Now you need to do two pieces. You cut two pieces of the card out for the game tray. So. First we measure four centimetres up on both sides and mark it. You so can might be able to see I've actually done done it beforehand, but just so you can roughly see what it's supposed to look like before it's actually done. And then we join those up together like so. Sorry, just doing it roughly there. And another four centimetres up, you mark again on both sides. Oh, this is better than not attack this. Yeah, that's why I love my job. And yeah, join that up like so. So once you marked off both ends of the game tray, you need to cut them out. So get the scissors and we start cutting. You could do this with the knife as well, probably might be quicker, but be careful as well. So once you cut the foot first and end off, then you do the same the second. So as you can see already, that is where the other end will go. Now both pieces have now been cut out, and all we need to do now is get the holes cut out in the ends of the tray. Now you need your ruler and pencil one more time for to do this job. Mark approximately four centimeters in to match up with. Uh, the, the base of the tray, and then two more millimeters, like so, and same again. Again, make it two centimeters high. I might want to do this a bit more accurately. So, there we go. Do the same again. And same on the other side. Once you cut out the holes you marked, then it should fit into the tray like so. Slides into place. Get it nice and secure. Now once you've done both ends of the tra tray, then it should look something like this and it should fit in pretty much perfectly or... But I can't guarantee when I have a little bit of space, but just the more accurate you do it, the better outcome. And obviously these bits are sticking out, so this is when we need the sticky tape. First of all, we need to fold all sides like this. Now it's time to stick the ends, so make sure we get some fairly strong tape. And on this bit, place some sticky tape. You want to put a fair few bits on. This is how I do it to make sure it's strong and stays secure. And after you've done all sides, it all, should all be strong enough to hold all your games. Everything's done, and so test it out. Super Nintendo goes in fine. Nintendo 64, fine. Mega Drive, Genesis, fine. And so there you go, that is my guide of how to make your own game tray to store all your loose cartridges. Yes, yeah, so I hope it has been helpful. You can probably use this for other things as well, apart from games. But hopefully for those gamers who have problems with loose cartridges, you'll find this a useful way of storing your games and making them look nice and tidy. Now, I hope my tutorial on making the game tray hasn't been too confusing for you. If there's anything you need to know, just ask, and I'll hopefully get back to you on that. Yes, I can't guarantee it'll fit all game cartridges in, but I'm sure it'll fit most of them in. 
If you want to make it yourself, go ahead. Oh, this is why I made it, so you can make one yourself. So I wouldn't be the only one who had it. More people can have it. The whole world can have it because they made it themselves. Now you can decorate it, paint it, whatever, make it more flashy. Yeah. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. More helpful tutorials and instructions of how to fix things, make things, and anything else to do with gaming. So until next time, I am Fixit Frank. I'll fix it so you can play it.